It is a brand new beginning for the Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall in University Heights, which had been targeted by arsonists three times starting in December 2011. With the help of hundreds of volunteers donating their time, labor, and expertise, the hall has now been completely rebuilt. News H Richard Allen took a tour today during a special open house. And Phil and Marcella, just an amazing story of resilience and recovery. After this Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall was essentially destroyed by three separate arson attacks. Now more than a year later, you can see that this church has literally risen from the ashes. It really is a blessing to be back in here. A blessed new beginning for this Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall on Adams Avenue. From its landscaping outside to its main auditorium inside with seats, carpet and state-of-the-art video system. An updated security system including reinforced doors as well as its conference room and auxiliary classroom used for Bible education. More people can participate in our, our school. We, so uh, we can have two schools going on at the same time. In late 2011 and early 2012, arsonists targeted the Kingdom Hall three times, causing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage. We weren't able to save one thing out of the Kingdom Hall. In one incident, firefighters found someone had broken into the hall and doused it with gasoline, although failed to start a fire. The building was also vandalized, with part of the exterior church sign torn down and the number 666 spray-painted on a wall. It was very disappointing that somebody would do that. And while the building was destroyed, the congregant spirit was not coming together from across San Diego to help rebuild. Many of our brothers are professionals in the building industry, and so they volunteered their time. In all, a crew of 776 volunteers worked for a total of 14 weekends to help complete this modernized Kingdom Hall, bringing everything up to current code. The surrounding community, also impacted by the arson attacks, showed its support as well. We've gotten a lot of support from our neighbors. Uh, some left flowers, uh, some wanted to contribute uh, some money toward the feeding of the volunteers. During the past year, the five congregations which use this hall, more than 300 members, met in other Kingdom Halls throughout San Diego. We didn't miss a meeting during all that time. And it's time now to celebrate. Now, as for those three separate arson attacks, so far no arrests have been made, but the case does remain under investigation, with a $10,000 reward being offered for information leading to a conviction. Phil and Marcella.